Hey there, it's Joy Beeland. You know, we get inquiries every day as to how quickly somebody can become an assessor or hire an assessor to come in and help them to prepare for the CMMC assessments. I wanted to do a quick series of videos so that we can kind of address each part of the CMMC ecosystem to help those who are struggling to understand it. Today, I wanted to start with the registered practitioner because that is the first place that you can start if you're really anxious to understand the, all the fundamentals of CMMC and get on your way to helping companies prepare for an assessment or help your own company prepare. What you would do is go online to the cmmcab.org website and fill out the application and pay the fee to become a, an RPO registered provider organization. And then one or more of your staff members can fill out the application and pass the background check to qualify to become a registered practitioner. That training is available now. It's been available for a while. It will take maybe a day, a day and a half to go through. And at the end of each online training module, there's a quick test that you have to pass, but it's not that difficult. I think I did mine in about a day and a half. Um, and there's a lot of people out there that are already registered practitioners. You can find them on the marketplace of the cmmcab.org official website. So that will give you a great fundamental knowledge of how is CMMC structured, um, what kind of methodology are they using from one maturity level to the next, and what kind of domains and practices breakout are you looking at. The most important thing to keep in mind as you become an assessor is understanding where the FCI or the CUI data resides on the network within the infrastructure, being able to provide a boundary for that so that the assessment is going to be scoped appropriately. So at Edwards, every member of our security team is already a registered practitioner. Um, several of us are excited and lined up to become a certified professional and a certified assessor level one and level three. If you're looking forward to becoming a certified professional or an assessor level one or level three, stay tuned. I'll be doing a quick series of videos as I walk through each of these different components. But for right now, you should know if you have any questions about becoming an RPO or a registered practitioner, feel free to reach out to me. Um, because our team is already out there actively helping companies prepare for their assessments and we're doing so internally ourselves. We know a lot about it and we wanna be here to help guide and shepherd this process for you. Thanks so much.